Sydney Tarver, man, from the NFL to corporate America to entrepreneurship, man. You know what I'm saying? Follow me along my journey, man. You dig what I'm saying? From the gridiron to the highway, I deliver inspiration and success one mile at a time. Salute all the fallen soldiers, though, man, for sure. Thank you for the service. Got a lot of military people, man. I know a lot of friends and military people that did that. Thank you for your service, man, and keeping us safe out there. Today's video is about the importance of networking in the trucking industry. How I network in the trucking industry. Now, networking. You might think it is seeing what it is. You don't like talking to people. You don't want no new friends. You don't listen to Drake's song, New New Friends. You think it's cool, but look at it. What are your friends around you doing? Are your friends millionaires or are your friends bums? And if you look at your friends and you don't want to trade lights with your friends, you need to get the hell away from them. Are your friends always doing dumb shit? They just want to drink, smoke, and party and do the same stuff you've been doing for 10 years? Do your friends go to the gym? Do your friends care about their health? Do your friends still live in that home in their base mom's basement? Or do they want to get out? Do they want to travel the world? What kind of friends do you have? Do they like going out to eat at new restaurants, trying new things, going to the gym, lifting weights? Or are they always complaining about how life isn't fair, how nobody treating them fair, how they can't make enough money, how they job, or they, are your friends negative or positive? You need to figure that out, first of all. I spent over 250,000 on my own self-education networking. And when I say that, I'm gonna tell you what that, that's things like buying course, going to Tony Robbins events. I went to Ryan Pineda. I don't know, You tra I haven't even documented. I went to over, all last year, I was traveling. I probably spent 250K easily between programs, mentorship, courses, learning stuff, internet business, how to run ads, how to build an online company, how to build YouTube. I don't know, all my projects, I probably spent over 250K. I invested that into my education and knowledge. And people say that, man, I would never do that. Hey, if you went to college, believe me, you spent more than 250K wasting your time on outdated programs. Hey, I'm Sydney Tarver, and welcome to this course, The Breakaway Blueprint where I'll break it all down for you on how to start a six-figure trucking business with nothing but a clean driver license and a clean driver rep. Over the past three years, I've delivered over five million packages. My team has ran over 20,000 routes and I've employed more than 400 drivers. Come along with me on this ride. You don't even have to buckle up. We're gonna go full speed into it and I'm gonna guarantee you, I'll show you how to get you a six-figure trucking business started in no time. It's easier than you think. Come on with me, I'll show you. Make sure you finish this course. Most people don't finish what they start in life in general. If you get to the end of this course, I guarantee you have the knowledge to be successful in the trucking industry. I'd rather learn from other entrepreneurs and other people who are actually doing stuff in the field, man. You gotta learn from people who doing stuff in the field, man. Take you on a different journey. Your friends, your family, your parents, they don't know what they wanna know. If you really looking to take your knowledge to the next level, you gotta learn from people who are already doing it. That, and then when you go to these networking events, you need to network with the people in there. You might not meet Tony Robbins, but you'll meet a whole, Tony Robbins is gonna bring out a whole lot of millionaires into one building. You understand me? He gonna bring out a whole lot of business minded people looking to change their life, looking for opportunities, looking to network and do that. That's why I preach on networking. Just because I'm in the trucking industry, I network with people outside of my industry and in my industry. Just because I own a truck company don't mean I can't learn nothing from a real estate mogul. Shout out to my boy Noah, one of the best realtors in Niagara Falls. You know, some of my other friends, Chad, I know a lot of people that I network, just because they're not in your industry don't mean they can't give you insights and tips to get your game up. Business is business at the end of the day. It don't matter if we selling American flags, bricks, candy, truck, poles. All this stuff was delivered by a truck, by the way. But networking though, networking is, took me farther than everything. I networked my way into getting the Amazon DSP. I didn't grow up wanting to be an Amazon DSP owner. I networked my way into it. You understand me? I networked my way to the NFL and I put blood, sweat, and tears in it. But if my coach who played in the NFL and all my friends who played in the NFL didn't show me how to work out and take my training to the next level, I would have never made it to the NFL. So networking is the key to everything, man. If you look around and your friends is all broke, chances are you're broke and a bum too. If chances you look around, you hanging around a lot of successful people, healthy people. Hey, if you're fat, Nine times out of 10, you hang around other fat people. You eat McDonald's, nine times out of 10, you hang around people that eat McDonald's. On a boat, nine times out of 10, your team, your friends got boats. You just gotta, if you hang around people with private jets, you might get a private jet one day. It's simple as that. Give yourselves a chance to be successful. Get out of your bum environment. Yeah, it might be scary to leave the, the normal stuff that you used to, but you gotta change your life.
Hey guys, if you're interested in purchasing the Breakaway Blueprint program, it is now $9.99. You gain instant access to over two hours of complex footage showing you how to personally start an Amazon DSP. Sid put hours into this and covers every topic of the trucking company from your MC numbers to your licenses to your insurance to your payroll to starting up by yourself. Everything you need is broken up into four chapters and you can watch every single video within two hours. If you're interested, the link is in the description below this will set you up and when you complete and continue you can message Sid if you have any questions enjoy the rest of the video you gotta want it bad enough you gotta find you a mentor people know it's no such thing as a self-made everybody like to brag and say I'm self-made I'm self-made this no you had parents you had somewhere the foster home took care of you. you had a coach it was somebody in your life who poured a little extra energy that they didn't have to pour into your life nobody made it alone by themselves and that leads me to tell you, you gotta find a mentor, man. Find a mentor, an advisor, or somebody who's further ahead in your industry. Right now with the internet, it's easy to find the top people in whatever industry, whether it's writing emails, cold marketing, car salesmen, starting a Turo business. Oh, we would've been right, we going over there. You gotta find somebody in your industry that's farther ahead than you. Not even in your industry, you just need to find somebody in business or whatever it is in life. If you wanna get healthier, find the best health mentor. If you wanna get in the gym, find the best gym mentorship. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna learn computers and IT, go talk to Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk and them. If you wanna be a pastor, Go to your church and tell your pastor to mentor you on how to become a pastor. You gotta find somebody farther ahead in life than you that knows what they're doing, that can give you a roadmap or some guidance or point you in the right direction. Cause we don't know everything. We don't know the directions we need to take in life. So networking, I told you I spent 250K on this. I've had plenty of mentors, one-on-one -on -one calls. You can ask, eh, how many calls? I gotta get on calls all day, every day. Cause I haven't figured it out yet. The money, people are worried about the money. Hey, it costs money. If somebody wanted to waste an hour of your time for free, not just one time, but day after day after day after day, would you start charging for phone calls? Exactly. You got a lot of information in your head that you know about. So you gotta start using it wise. Matter of fact, book a call with me. I'm out here chilling though, man. Me and Bugs Bunny, the Easter Bunny, man. This is one of my mentors growing up. I used to watch cartoons all day, every day. Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck. I got a lot of game from them. My mom and dad, those were my first mentors. They were way farther ahead in life than me. Then my second, let me think, in high school, Dallas Joseph was my mentor. He was the CFO of my high school, Real Stories. He the first person to make me eat raw sushi with chops, making me try new stuff. He was taking me to fine dining restaurants when I was a kid. So therefore I knew how to use chopsticks. I knew how to eat raw sushi, tuna, all that when I was a kid. Shout out to him. Eric Westmoreland, he was my high school football coach, but he played in the NFL. He, I used to think I was good at football. He told me to get to the next level, Sydney, your skills is trash. You need to step your game up even if you want to think about going to college. You're not even ready for the NFL yet. He told me this in high school. So shout out to Emo. Got me to the league. Plenty of people in my life that I give thanks and gratitude for. If you want to get on a phone call with me, down below the link, I can get you where you're going easily, man. I'm booked up and busy, man. So it's a few slots left. I might even shut down some more slots. I'm tired of blocking my time off. Maybe I'll give y'all an hour and 30 minutes of my time a day, 30 minute calls a day, dedicated, whatever, business, trucking, whatever you want to learn, I'm here for it. You dig? I'm a published author, a public speaker, a stand-up comedian. We got some rap songs on the way. I'm a rapper. What else you want to do, man? It's nothing I can't do. I'm unstoppable. My first, my guy, I told you, Terry Philpot. He used to send me to business events and mixers all the time. I didn't know why he was doing this, but now that I look back on it, he was putting me in the room with other business professionals who were in the same industry as me. I was networking. We was drinking, having drinks and food and happy hour exchanging business cards. And a lot of business gets done that way. I didn't see it at first. Another way to network, online, Reddit. Go on Reddit, sub forums. People are teaching you how to do all kinds of stuff on Reddit. It's a lot of places to network. YouTube, go find on the YouTube comments. You can find a lot of Discord chats, a lot of great places to network at. Look at that, ooh, he got diarrhea. What are they feeding you? What you eat for breakfast, Mr. Birdie? Cause the early bird catches the worm. You hear me? You wanna be on my YouTube video? He posing for us. He just let out a big dookie load though. That was crazy, Mr. Birdie. But uh, yeah, networking, we back to it. Yeah, happy hours. I know like you don't got a drink or anything, but a lot of business people meet at happy hours. Look up in your city, the list of local happy hours, steakhouses. You get good discounts on food and you get to network with business people. 
dressed up in their corporate suits, exchanging cards. Let me think on the internet. On with the power of the internet, Eventbrite. Eventbrite, you can find local real estate meetups, local car meetup, whatever subject you wanna learn more about, go find it. If you're in college, look at your club. See, this is the thing I would've wish I would've did more in high school and college, like joining the club. If you like chess, join the chess club. If you like music, join the music club. Whatever club you interested in, join that group. You know what I'm saying? Get around like-minded individuals and y'all are gonna help cook up ideas. Your regular friends, you might not can tell to your regular friends, hey, I want to learn piano lessons. They are gonna look at you, laugh at you, call you all kind of names. Those aren't your real friends. If ever you bring up an idea and your friends laugh at you, those are not the people you want to be around. Anthony got me to the boxing gym. I hang around a lot of people who like to box. You know what? When we go places in public, I know I can trust them because if something go down, we all gonna start fighting. You feel me? I go to yoga. I love yoga. I like being around the people. They teach me how to eat clean, eat healthy. They know a lot of uh, products that help you clean your life up. My yoga teacher, um, shout out to Soma Cure. She give me a lot of health, take care of your body tips, how to take care of my hand tips. The places that I go network the gym. The gym is a great place for network because it means you have discipline, you're trying to achieve a goal, you care about your health, you care about how you look, health is well. Go to the gym to find people who take their life serious and take life serious. Cause all the other stuff, the gym will probably be the number one place I got for you. If you don't do anything, go buy you a gym membership. Right now, go to the gym, start hanging around like-minded individuals. You're gonna see people. Once you're at the gym and you get your face good, go ask, hey, what you do for a living? They gonna tell you and that's gonna be your way in. You know what I'm saying? The gym is where a lot of business is done. A lot of networking is happening at. That's probably my number one place to tell people with not a lot of money, not a lot of nothing, go to the gym to network. But other than that, online. Just Google, a simple Google or a chat GBT YouTube search will show you how to network and change your life, man. It's not hard. You gotta really just wanna change. Talk to somebody new. Send a DM to somebody new. You got a product or service, go on Instagram and randomly DM somebody. Hey, my name is Johnny. This is what I do. Show them your service. That's network. Go on LinkedIn, go on Facebook. You on these social media platforms, it's called social media networks. That's the point of social media is for networking, not to go look at Kylie Jenner and Kim K and naked pictures all day and try to DM OnlyFans girls. The point of social media networking is to meet people with the power of the internet. I would have I got 2.56 million views on YouTube. Do you know how long it would have took me to talk to 2.5 million people in real life? How long was that? How many people have you talked? You only talked to the same 20 friends you knew from high school all your life. You don't even know nobody and you wonder why your life sucks because you keep hanging around the same people you done knew all your life that are not going nowhere. They don't have no ambitions. They won't want to be better in life. So let's get it together, man, with the social media networking and the real life networking, the online networking. In 2024, it's too easy. This right here connects all of us. Like it or not, we all connected by the phone. You all know what your cousin in many Minnesota doing right now. You telling your mom, hey, did you see my cousin? Did you see her new post? She's at the concert in Las Vegas. What the power of social media is. Use this for good, not for bad, and let's get it.